create invoices using product and service records. You can create invoices for existing product and service records. Once updated, stock levels will be reduced and a sale recorded in the customer record. Create a new product invoice. From the Invoices and Credits module, click New Invoice. The new invoice window opens with some of the fields pre-populated. In this example, we're creating a product invoice dated 3rd of August, but each of these fields can be amended if required. Select your customer from the drop-down list and click OK. Or use the search box to help you find the customer instead. For example, if I enter John, then click Search, any customer records containing the word John appear here. Once selected, their address is pulled through from the customer record. The due date of the invoice is automatically calculated, taking the invoice date and adding the payment due days set for this customer. The invoice is automatically numbered. You can enter a sales order reference in the order number field, up to seven alphanumeric characters, and a customer order number reference, up to 60 alphanumeric characters. You're now ready to add the first item to your invoice. Click the drop down arrow at the right of the product code column. This will display any available product and service records. In the same way as selecting a customer account, scroll through the list of products and select the required item. Alternatively, search the product records. Check if there's enough free stock against the product before selecting it. Once the correct product is selected, click OK. The description, quantity, unit price, net, and VAT columns are automatically populated with the data from the product record. To make changes to the quantity, you can amend the amount in the quantity column. Alternatively, select view item or use the F3 function key to take you into the item line. In the details section, there are two extra fields in which you can add more data. Comment 1 and Comment 2. In the values section, you can change the quantity and unit price and apply a discount by entering a value in either the discount percent or the discount amount boxes. In the posting details section, the data is populated from the customer record but can be changed if required. Once you're happy, click OK. You can add multiple lines to your invoice. To do this, click the drop down arrow here. When I search for the word install, I can see I have a product code of INST001 for installation. This time we don't see a free stock amount. We can see this code has been marked as a service. I'll select the record and click OK. Again, we see all fields on the item line have been populated with data. This time we'll access the item line by selecting the Finder button at the right of the description instead of the F3 key. On a service line, there is an additional field for details where further information about the service can be entered. Once you're happy with the changes entered, click OK. Continue adding product or service lines until the invoice is complete. Item lines will be totaled at the bottom of the invoice. If you'd like to enter a discount on the total net value of the invoice, add this in the net value discount option as either a percentage or an amount, which will update the invoice totals. To save the invoice, click Save. You can either stay in the window to create a further invoice or to return to the main invoice list, click Close. Your new invoice appears in the invoice list with INV displayed in the type column.